The bridge will be open 24-7 with a 50 speed limit for use by light vehicles, public transport and bicycles. And CCTV footage captured two burglars breaking into my device in Ahewini at around 11.30pm last Friday. The offenders stole tens of thousands of dollars in iPhones and MacBooks in around two minutes with the alarm system mysteriously not being activated. The Breakfast Club with Lana, Adam and Paul Ego. JJ and Flinny drive you home. Right across the bay on 88.7 and everywhere on Rover. This is Morning News. Morning, Glenn here with the latest at 8.30. A man was jailed for life yesterday for stabbing Fasana Yakubi to death in West Auckland last year after months of harassment. The Auckland Coalition for the Safety of Women demanding tougher laws around stalking saying many victims live in fear. Stalkers are usually trying to control their victim and therefore it is terrifying. Talks have been held behind closed doors on the first steps towards redeveloping Auckland's waterfront. Mayor Wayne Brown says releasing parts of the port back to the council was a major idea that got covered. The first stage would focus on the central wharves, Queen's Captain Cook, Marston and the Hobson Extension. Federated Farmers is breathing a cautious sigh of relief with the cattle disease Mycoplasma bovis on the brink of complete eradication here. President Wayne Langford saying culling stock, especially around the South Island, took a huge mental toll. Farmers love their animals, they're a big part of what they do. And it's been an extremely tough time for us to get to this point. Consumer NZ wants the Commerce Commission to investigate Woolworths and foodstuffs after receiving lots of examples of incorrect pricing and specials that weren't actually specials. And Lotto's Powerball jackpot will be a massive 26 million this weekend after nobody won it last night. 22 people did pick up the second division though, each winner taking at least $16,000. Silver Ferns defender Karen Berger there. Our girls a bit gutted after a 48-all draw with South Africa at the Netball World Cup this morning. We were leading until the final 20 seconds. Next up is a clash against Jamaica from 9 to night. Win that and we're in the semis. And our Tall Blacks have started their prep for this month's Basketball World Cup with a 79-72 loss to Japan over there. The two teams play again tomorrow night. The Cup starts on the 25th. Listen to Morning Anywhere by downloading the Rover app. More FM weather with Jarks, where country, beach, city and community comes first. A chilly start to what should be a mainly fine day, just plenty of cloud and got strong southwesters. A high of just 11, down to 5 overnight. Tomorrow, mainly fine, southwest winds easing, a high of 16. A few showers Saturday. Wake up with a laugh. Mum, Adam and Paul Ego. It's the Breakfast Club on the Maze 88.7 More FM.